welcome back to Edo Language Institute and uh, for those of you joining me for the first time also a warm welcome to you uh, for my subscribers I know yeah it's been a minute right it's been quite a while since I I last uploaded a lecture and I can well imagine that uh, many of you have been waiting anxiously for my next lecture this lecture today will be about um, like common phrases in Edo language and also how to introduce yourself um, like this, this these are very um, I think this is a very useful uh, aspect of the language um, perhaps like for instance if you live uh, outside of Nigeria and you're visiting for the first time maybe you were born outside of Nigeria and at least you can communicate with some family members um, with these phrases you know like for the couple of weeks you'll be there um, and um, yes the main another main part of this video this is why i'm doing this uh this first part also is uh i want to thank you it's a, it's a kind of a thank you uh section which i'm doing now thank you so much we just hit 400 subscribers can you imagine remember the last time well the first time that i the very first time that i revealed my face back in may we hit 200 subscribers and now we are double that number you know so really i truly appreciate each and every one of you well of course some people might say what is 400 you know like other people have i don't know other channels have thousands of subscribers but 400 for me is a lot 400 is a lot you know this is a very specific niche um i mean like i mean how many people speak edo language Com on a on a world scale you know so i'm really 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 um happy for all these people that have been supporting this channel and um, and also have been in contact with some of you in the last few months and weeks. Um, those of you that, that signed up for my introduction to Edo language course, like as in you signed up on my email list, you did receive an email about two weeks ago, one week ago, uh, in which I asked you to uh, participate in my survey. And for those of you that have done it, thank you so much. If you haven't done it, um, you still have the opportunity to do so. And also I'll leave the link in the description box below. Um, other than that, um, yeah, and also in that, in that video, um, sorry, in that email, you saw that I also included a link to the to the course website that I've been working on. So you you basically know that I haven't been idle uh, behind the scene. And also one thing that you all know is that I um well these people that I communicated with is that I've been working on my master's thesis and that has taken a lot uh, of my personal time. I really had to invest like all my energy into that and um, and 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 I still have to do the defense afterwards and then when my grades are finally out there you know that feeling and i'll be all yours i i mean i'll be i'll, I'll do more um for my channel but for now i really really need to uh, concentrate on on um on the on really uh, like finishing that you know like completing this this whole the master's degrees pro program and having my degree you know and um yeah uh, other than that i wish you uh, like just have fun with this with this lecture and, and 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 enjoy it and also if you have any questions leave them in the um, comment section below i'll be really really glad to respond to them so uh let's uh, switch over to the to the to the lecture <laughs> so um introducing yourself in edo language so we will start with hello um the thing is in edo language you don't really have the word for hello you know hello alone it's more it's more like hello how are you doing so um i think the americans usually talk like that so hey how are you doing so um here in in edo we say Wojie, which is basically how are you or literally it actually means how is it and then you can respond um oh yes see it is good or a yes see the e there is a, a negation a yes see it's not good but most of the time we say oh yes see right <laughs> even though we are feeling awful <laughs> so um yeah so the next sentence is to how to ask uh, how is your name so we'll say what which it means what are you called or what does one call you 
and or you could say why anywhere where is this uh, the the question it means uh, what so why what it is oi remember my like I, I would i'll link the lectures where you can um like get the where i've talked about this like oi and all those things before um i'll link them in the description box and also in the video so why anywhere any is the other word for name so what is your name so you could respond for instance someone say vati where you can say adesuwa atime or uh, if someone say why anywhere you can say any more adesuwa uh, but it's also inter interchangeable when someone says what where you can also say I do what um, if someone says where anywhere you can still say I do what you know uh, or someone says what where you can say anymore I do what you know like and then you can exchange I do what for any name yeah. anymore eki anymore in VA and so on so to say how old are you um you say inu o o uje what is the other word for year and uh, all this you will find more explain, explanation about this in the v in my lecture on how to ask questions in the language i'll also link that as well so inupo or uje you can say uge eije so now or this it is turns to a uh, it's just for pronunciation reason so you can also say uge Ugie or easy or easy. It's um yeah. It's just like which one sounds better. Um and then where do you live? Oh oh, just one other thing. For instance, because I don't numbers. At some point, I'm going to make a video on specifically about Edo numbers. And um, ugie is quite simple. That's twenty. For instance, uh, but if you want to say um like eighteen. Uh, it will be 20 minus 2 so if you want to so as from 15 um as from 15 you start subtracting from the main number so for instance 16 in edo language is basically 20 minus 4 so you will say enero wugie so it means 4 in there is 4 is missing from 20 so that's 16 17 is a higher wugie so 3 is missing from 20 and so on so if you want to say i'm 18 years old you say so but we'll come to that another time for now just we're taking 20. um so where do you live you can say uh you would say dekenudia again a k is place which place do you stay dia is actually stay and you could respond for instance a london those of you that watch the the three facts about Edo language you know why i put a in front of london because we cannot pronounce um consonants we have to put a vowel in front of it so we say elondo eidia or you could also ask devo nuje so this one is specific you're asking which country or which city are you and so i put i place x y here it could be in manchester aeg or in new york aeg um and then the other question where do you come from so dekenukere Deke, which place? Ne. It's it contracts here, but so it's actually N E ne. Which place? Uh, or uh, what place? Which you come from? Nu kere, like kere is like you coming from there. Um, so you can say eko e kere. Eko is the Edo word for Lagos, like the Lagos in Nigeria. Um, no, the Edo name for Lagos. Or you can also ask Devo Nukere, and you can so that Evo is a place or a, a city or a country. Um, so you can also say London and Ikere. Then it, this is slightly different from where are you coming from? So you can you would say Deke Nuke De. So that is more um present. So where are you coming from? De coming, but Re come or has come. So re is more of the past tense and de is the present. So you can say isi winna a e k d. Isi is a place. Um like for instance you say isi winna the place of work. 
Yeah, of course I said a K is a place, but E C is also a place. E C winna A K D. Or you can also just simply say E winna A K D. I'm coming from work. Um, we have similar thing like this. Like E C A H E is the bathroom. E C A H E A H E is to bath or to shower. So E C A H E A K D. I'm coming from the bathroom. Or you say O W A E K D. I'm coming from home. And um, one other question, where do you work? De ke nu na wina. So you see that in wina. Like all I do, ver all I do now start with a, a vowel, in wina. And then wina is the, the verb to work. De ke nu na wina. Then you can say, this This can also be, depends, like it could be they're asking for the company, the name of the company where you work. You can say like, a Barclays, a na wina, or JP Morgan, a na wina. Whatever Nigerian brewery is in a winner, or it could mean like which city do you work in Singapore in a winner, you know. So that is not very specific. So a key is just a place. So now the next slide. So some uh, common greetings, um, but like I mean, you should know in Edo language. So good morning in Edo language is very specific because each family each clan has their morning greeting so for instance um in my family like from my father's side i greet latose so that means in the morning every you greet everyone that is older than you with this and lamogun for instance is the greeting from my grandfather's side my maternal grandfather they greet lamogun and but i don't agree that because i'm basically not part of the family like i'm part of my own father's family so it's a patriarch paternal lineage yeah so um you say that like for an edo every edo person has a family like you can ask if your parents are edo ask them what is your family greeting they will tell you and you can write it in this comment section below and maybe some of you might be related to me because that's how you know which clan someone comes from or which area they come from also and then so this the family greeting is always from the like you greet for instance every child greets their parents that so like uh, with this family greeting and also younger siblings greet their older siblings like this so if you're the last child sorry nobody greets you <laughs> maybe your younger cousins or something okay um and um, so then a response could be, yeah, ko yo bo wie. Or um, your parents might say, ko yo wie. So did you sleep well? Um, o bo wie is, is, uh, is also like the general greeting to say good morning. But you rather, um, it's more from the older person to a younger person. Like after the younger person has greeting, the family greeting, or to a like to a non edo person you know so like oboe that because they are not really they are not they are not part of your clan um so um so to say good afternoon uh you say obava and what, what you you notice here the, everything is sort of oriented at like towards the oba so oba it contracts there that's why there's apostrophe there so oba is like king of the afternoon obo we are king of the morning you know i don't know how they came to that but this is how we greet each other in Edo language so in Benin. um so oba and then obota is good evening uh, then you say koyo obava koyo obota you know and then to but to say good night the Edo word for night is ason just the way it's spoken ason ason with the nasal n at the end ason but you don't say obason you say instead ohyonwe which is then till tomorrow like see you tomorrow so i think they have something like that in uh, italian they say adomani so like till tomorrow then to say welcome so this is also interesting. So to say welcome, you would say if you are the person at home, let's say I'm at home and my mom comes, if my mom went to the supermarket and she comes home, I would say obo And she can respond, say, yeah, koyo. 
you know, or she can say, yeah, I call you a boa. You know, so obo or why you see this like at, at home. It's like the person that is at home uh greets the person that is coming or booking. Okay, oh, is the work, like it's like king of the work or king of working, and the other one say king of home, you know. So obo uh, you would say and the other person will respond obowa. And if you say obowa, the other person will respond obo you know. Um and then we have obevau. This is usually when you come uh go, come somewhere when people are doing things that people are working you know you, like usually for instance let's say on the weekend like the you you do sh you you everyone has their duties maybe in a family like this one is cleaning the car the other one is cleaning the bathroom whatever and you, your parents can come say, ah wa beba oh you know and and then the, the the person that is greeted can say ah uh, uese um but also it can also be general um as in um you're going somewhere at what you're going to visit some a family or something and you you find them outside you know like outside the the veranda i'm thinking of an um like you have to imagine an african setting right in front of the house because people usually sit outside because of the the weather um no, because of the heat inside so people outside and you someone can come and say ah well beba it's just like a general greeting to everyone and you say ah where's the other can say oh like welcome so the other one this the next one here or being winner is very specific this one is really when you maybe um oh you hired like some bricklayers like they're doing something like they are really working or they're digging a hole, like doing something really work. And then you go, say, ah, I'll be winner. And then they say, where's it? It's like, you know, all about of work, that like they are really doing something. And then the last one, yeah, this koyo is also quite, like you use it in very diff in different, um, in different scenarios. You can use koyo to, to show um, sympathy. Uh, for instance, someone fell down and injured themselves. You can re run there and say, ah, koyo. Is like as in are you okay you know uh, or someone cut themselves and you can say ah koyo you know someone is hurting like you show this empathy or maybe you are driving with someone like you you're on a road trip and uh, the, the one person has been driving for hours and you can just you know like at some point you can just say ah koyo you know like oh it's like yeah thanks for driving or you know like I I I I acknowledge the thing that you're the work that you're doing. I acknowledge your effort exactly. So I acknowledge someone's effort. The same thing. Maybe you are in the barber shop or you are in the hair salon, and even though you are paying for that thing the person is doing, you can just say ah after some time say, ah call your. It's like I acknowledge what you're doing. Like you're doing my hair. You know you're cutting my hair. You know. So uh, and then the person say ah wese so thank you wese u u you U, the RU is to do a say good. You did good or yeah, you do good. So USA. So that's basically it for today. Um, I hope this is uh, useful to you. Um, if you have any questions, like I said before, leave them in the comment section below. And um, as always, don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to share it. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so yet. So uh, see you next time. Bye-bye. Uh,